So that's my printer bot simple. Um, it's still not working. What happened is the hot end uh, wouldn't heat up. And I noticed here, I'm not sure if you can see that, these wires um, underneath the heat shield um, are all melted. Um, so I put some um, electrical tape on there to try to see if that would um, allow me to keep running it. But unfortunately, it, it didn't. Um, so it so these things are like against here like this with the heat shield on it. And they were all melted, all the wires. Um, the coating on the wires were melted, and then the wires are all frayed. Um, and adding this uh, electrical tape didn't uh, stop it from, um, or didn't allow it to work anymore. So this hot end is pretty much toast. Um, I don't really know much about electrical. I mean, I'm sure somehow you can solder some new wires on there and do some things, but I don't know how to do that because that's just not part of my experience. But uh, so I had to buy a new hot end. I just got it in the mail. Um, so it's a new hot end in here. I guess I could open it and uh, see what it looks like. It wasn't cheap. Um, I spent a lot of money on this printer so far, and I've not had it for more than two months. I've had it less than two months, so here's my new hot end, which uh, just came in the mail. Um, I'm almost considering putting some electrical tape around these wires before I plug it in, because I'm assuming that this one here will do the same thing. I'm not sure if anyone else has had this problem where the, the wires here will melt uh, against this other white area. I thought this was like a thermal area too, this white stuff. Um, it feels like it would be, but um, I guess it gets real hot there. It was up like this. Actually, the area where it melted uh, is where this nut is at. Um, so you see on there where the nut's at. So I'm going to probably put some electrical tape all around this new one so it doesn't, the same thing doesn't happen. I didn't I mean, I've only made 20 prints with uh, the simple, not this particular upgrade. Uh, that was the fishing line one. Since I upgraded this, I also had a problem with the fan. I had to take it off. Uh, the extension wire that comes with the 1405 kit, um, it's broken. Uh, here's the old wire that was on the original printer bot simple, which is too short to work with this new printer. Uh, this one, I tested the fan with just by plugging it in underneath, and the fan does work with the old um, with the old cable, but it's too short to actually get under to the board. And so I looked at the new cable and the wire that's at this connection down here at the bottom connection is pulled out the red wire, and I don't know how you would fix that. Again, I'm not an electric guy. I'm not sure if that's an easy fix or something. I tried to tell PrinterBot, hey, I'd buy a new one because I think I probably am the one that did it. I think I did something stupid when I was trying to feed the wires in through the bottom here. I might have pulled out. Um, but they don't have these wires, the long wires, uh, in their store to buy to get this fan to work. And they said they'll send me one, but it'll take 305 days. Well, I'm not waiting 305 days. So I don't know if anyone who watches this could put down in the comments where I could find like a wire like this, but the longer extension one, which is still all wrapped in this bundle. I didn't take it completely out of the wire kit. That's part of this thing. It's still stuck in here, but the wire is, uh, like I said, it's out on the other end down here. Um, so it has like two prongs up here and it has this kind of bottom. Um, I looked through like New Egg and several like Micro Center, several computer stores looking for this particular type of fan plug that was the same length as the one it came with this kit. I can't find one. I'm not waiting 305 days. Um, so, so far, I haven't been able to print with this new kit. I have moved all the uh, axes around. I actually did get the level, the, the sensor, but it didn't uh, print out. 
anything because the hot end was not heating because of this wire problem. So I'll be trying it with this uh, in a little bit. Um, but I don't have a fan, which is going to be probably not the best thing in the world to not have a fan. Um, and on top of that, so, so far, less than two months with my printer bought simple, less than 20 prints. I've spent $650 just to try to get this thing to work. I'm still not sure if it's going to work, uh, this new kit. I had the old fishing line finally working after about $500. But now I'm an additional $150 in on this new model, and I don't know if it actually works or not. So, these things are so finicky. Um, if you're going to get into doing these things... Um, have a lot of cash around because you're going to have to fix things. If you know electronics, then you might be able to fix a lot more stuff yourself. Unfortunately, I don't know much about electronics. Um, I'm willing to learn, but I don't know anything about it. So, yeah, I believe this cost me... Oh, man, how much was it? Here's the invoice on it. So, this cost me, with shipping, $65.02 for this new hot end. Less than two months. Less than 20 prints. This here. Less than 20 prints on this original hot end. That's ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous at least. Um, so, yeah. Affordable printer. Um, I'm not sure if all printers are like this. But maybe. Uh, maybe the higher end like uh, MakerBots and stuff. Maybe they are better to get. Um, you know, Maybe it is. I, I don't know. I mean, they may go through the same problems, actually. I don't know. Um, but I've, I've run into people that have MakerBots that don't have problems with them for at least a year. Um, and I've had problems with this printer since I've had it, since I bought it. I, I've made some really good prints off the original Fishing Line version. I only made 20 prints, but I made some nice prints. Um, but I wish I would at least got like 50 to 100 prints before I had to start replacing stuff. I had to replace motors. I had uh, replaced the other motor down here. And this motor, they both burnt out. Um, I've had so many different problems. And, uh, you know, the shipping, I have to get a lot of this stuff because I work almost 60 to 80, hour, 80 hours a week. So I don't have time to go to stores. So I have to buy stuff through online and... The shipping costs money, you know, so that's an extra cost. So this is where my printer's at right now. It's uh, it's still not uh, working, but I am hopeful that this will work once I uh, probably insulate this wire because I do not want this to happen again and have to pay 65 bucks every time I go through this and try to figure out how I'm going to get uh, a fan wire because I'm not waiting 305 days for them to send me one. I was willing to buy one from them, but they don't have them in their store. I really wish that, that all the that all the pieces that come in these kits, you could buy individual pieces on their store, even if it costs more money. I'm willing to pay, you know, give them a profit. And uh, but if something breaks, and you know, most likely I probably broke it. You know, I probably did it myself, and I'm willing to pay for something, but I'm not willing to wait a year. The print that's ridiculous that's absolutely ridiculous they need to really think about uh fixing that um because you know no one wants to sit around and wait a whole year they want to be printing with their machines it's, um so i've already paid double or almost double wait three six yeah i almost paid double what i originally paid for the printer bot and i'm still having some issues with it um, though I'm really enjoying the printer, I've really learned a lot. This this printer, I've learned more on this printer than with the Solid Doodle. The Solid Doodle, actually, I've had no problems with except for some of the uh, printed plastic parts, which you can fix yourself. Um, but unfortunately, this particular one is giving me a real run for my money. I'm learning a lot about uh, how these printers work. Um, unfortunately, I would like to actually be able to print with them. Uh, so that's my update for where I'm at now. Uh, hopefully within the next video I show you, I can actually show you some more stuff I'm printing with it. Um, I got this to be portable, and it is nice and portable. 
And so that's another problem with it, you know, because it's portable, maybe that's how, I, when I move it around, maybe some of these cords get frayed out or something. So I really, if PrinterBot or anyone from PrinterBot is watching this, please, like these cords and any of the things that come where they connect things, could you please, like, put some of these on your store? Even if you're going to mark them up, mark them up. You know, some of us, uh, you know, we move the machine around and we break things and, you know, we want to replace them. And we're willing to pay for them. Uh, you know, please, please put that stuff on your store. You know, so we can fix our machines. Well, that's my video where I'm at with uh, my micro uh, printer bot simple. Um, I don't know why they call it simple because it's not so simple. But uh, it's been a journey. And uh, I'll continue to update on how this machine works once it gets, uh, gets moving. So thanks for watching.